thing that is dealing with the future. He talks a lot about AI. He talks a little bit about how to make better use out of the tools that you have. And I can't wait to hear the closing speech today. Give it up for your boy, John Mendes! Ready. All righty, so big round of applause for Brandon and Carl for putting this together, man. Big round of applause. All right, so let's get right into the show of hands. How many of you guys heard the quote, uh, to follow your passion? Quick show of hands. All righty, perfect. I did, and here's where it led me. Let me take you back in the time machine really quickly, back to 2020. At this time, uh, pandemic took over the world, and I read a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I read that book, and it taught me another way of viewing the world that wasn't being taught in school, wasn't being taught in my environment, but more importantly, wasn't being taught at home. So I went on YouTube University and I started figuring stuff out. I ended up deciding to drop out of school to get into real estate. I was working about 20, 70 or so hours per week and I ended up getting licensed two weeks after I turned 20. This is my first official headshot. This is way back in 2021. And so from there, I started hopping on, uh, Keller Williams has a lot of training calls. Started hopping on as many as I could. Ignite is one of them. On this call, this lady named Donna, a veteran agent in the office, she dropped a couple links to her morning routine call that she hopped on. And one of the calls is a group called Early Birds Talking Real Estate. Now, these guys are top realtors from all over the country, and they meet from 6.30 in the morning to 7 a.m. in the morning, Monday through Friday. These people are committed. And so me, normally at that time, I'm normally at the gym. I'm normally working out, getting my gains in, and one day, the day they just happen to be talking about social media, the one topic I could finally share on, because I wasn't selling houses at that time, so I was like, I could tell a thing or two on social media. I was in the gym. So if anyone's working out, you know there's always people dropping weights. There's always weird, awkward people grunt, grunting and yelling. There's always something going on. So I said, let me type it in and post it into the Facebook group. So that's what I did. Five simple social media tips on creating content. Uploaded it into the group, and people started liking it. People started commenting, sharing. And one of the hosts of the call was like, hey, John do you mind teaching a class on this? And instead of saying, yeah, of course, I said I never taught a class before. <laughs> and from there, she was like, John, let me, know when you want it to, like, let me know when you want it scheduled. So I couldn't say no twice, so that's what I did. I taught my very first class, it was called Intro to Video. Right? It was a very intro level class, and I ended up getting 440 realtors from across the country in Canada signed up for my very first class. So this ended up going amazing. My name started blowing up. I got a bunch of clout in that group. From there, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, though. I started getting a bunch of ads for click funnels, right? Fast forward, I started teaching social media. And at that time, I wasn't selling houses or real estate. And I wanted to really turn this social media thing into a business. I started seeing all these click funnels ads, and I was like, all right, I got this genius idea. So my catchphrase is stop and stare, just don't touch the hair. Uh, That's my go-to. Mendez Media was taken for whatever reason, so I was like, what's the next best thing? Stop and stare media. And so my whole idea was, I was gonna create content for realtors. I was already teaching the social media classes. Now I was gonna charge them a high ticket and just do it all for them. And that's how I was gonna make my money. So that way I could keep, to keep teaching the social media classes for free and start making money off the thing that I knew best. But it didn't work out that way. Right? After my very first client, I was laying down in bed and I was just editing the content. I was putting the captions on the screen and I was just sitting there miserable because I was just slaving myself. I was working tons of hours. I was trying to get the real estate thing off the ground. I was still doing the weekly podcast episodes. I was still doing all my own content and working at a restaurant job that I didn't want to be at. And I was sitting there creating this guy's content on top of creating all the other stuff that I had to post for myself. And I was like, I don't want to do this. So after my very first client, I scrapped up that business idea and I found myself in this downward spiral, just spiraling downwards. Everything that I wanted to do was just going downhill, no matter how much effort, hard work, or determination, I couldn't grip my way through this, right? So from there, I started looking a lot in the mirror. I started reflecting, like what's going wrong? I'm talented, I'm hardworking, I'm intelligent. I have all these people who are a lot more seasoned, a lot more successful, telling me that I have what it takes. Like, oh my goodness, if I only started, when I was your age. But despite that, nothing was going my way. And like anyone who has a problem, 
went on YouTube University. Uh. <laughs> so I started YouTubing as many videos I could find and I ended up finding this concept called Ikigai. It's a Japanese topic that I speak on often and that's a topic for another day. Long story short, it talks about uncovering your purpose. And so I started going all into my podcast. I got interviewed a little over 100 times between January and March of this year. And one of the guys I got to meet, Jason, he has a mastermind. Now his mastermind is called Spear and Clover. And in the mastermind, it's about 400 bucks a month. And I knew I had it the first month, but month two, three, four, and five, I was like, damn, that's another story. So I was like, man, do I invest in this, in this mastermind or do I just play on the fence? So I was like, let me go all in. So I ended up joining his mastermind and in the mastermind, he had this course on how to use ChatGPT that he created using ChatGPT. And I was like, yo, this guy got it good. All right. So I took what he did. I'm like, man, how can I spin this and teach the realtors what I got going on with this chat GPT stuff? So I was like, let me go away from the social media. Let me teach a webinar on how to use chat GPT. And I used chat GPT to create the whole webinar. And this webinar ended up getting a little over 300 people registered for it. And that's when I realized like agents did not know anything about this. Like this is something that was going to be game changing. So that's what I did. And so the vehicle to 10X your business in the next 12 months is called AI, artificial intelligence. So there's not a single person in this room that couldn't 10X their business in the next 12 months with the use of AI. Like this stuff is really good. And so I want you guys to read this and mentally commit, right? I want you guys to commit that as soon as you know that AI is the key to 10Xing your business, that you'll go all in. Come on, baby. Right? So what does it mean to go all in, right? Person on the left, he tried it. He got this little Grinch out there. He made some Christmas decorations. Person on the right-hand side, what's his light bill? This is what it means to go all in, right? What does it mean to go all in? Person on the left, I wouldn't dare step foot in this kitchen. My grandma would beat me if I ever tried to eat in here, right? <laughs> Person on the right, look like Gordon Ramsay made this kitchen himself. Like, that's what it means to go all in. So what does it mean to go all in? Crowd, unengaged, uninterested, right? These guys, they kind of got it going a little bit. Like they got the crowd and a little bit more engaged. You can tell they're paying attention. They're raising their hands. This is what it looks like to go all in. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is what it looks like to go all in. So Tony Robbins, he says, if you want to take the islands, you got to burn the boats, man. You have to go all in. AI is here to stay. Right, so I want you guys to repeat after me this time. You guys mentally committed the first time, I want you guys to re repeat after me. I commit, I commit that, as as I know, that as soon as I know that artificial intelligence, that artificial intelligence is, the key is the key to 10x my business, to 10X my business I'll, go all in. I'll go all in. So what is AI, right? What is this tool that everyone wants to talk about? When you think about AI, Let's talk about a traditional robot first, something we're a little bit more familiar with, right? How many people know how to use a microwave? Roughly everybody, right? So a microwave, you program it one time, then you put in the numbers, boop, 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 you put the food in, you press start, and it heats up, right? And it only has one function, and it's programmed at the beginning, right? But us as business owners, we gotta be smarter than that, right? We have to think outside the box. We're doing all these things ourselves. We're wearing all the hats. And this is where AI come into play. AI is the secret. AI is kind of like a chef. If you're cooking up a good meal and you accidentally pour too much salt in the first time around, that doesn't mean that the food is gonna be messed up. You can still improvise and make a good dish out of that. And with AI, it can cater to whatever you input. And so this is the secret. And so I'm gonna teach you guys how to turn AI into a Swiss army knife so you can use it for literally everything, right? So this is the part where I want you guys to get your pen and paper ready because we're about to get tactical, right? So how many of you guys heard these doomsday headlines of like AI is gonna take over the world, AI is coming for your jobs, AI is going to replace you, right? The media does a great job at this. Their goal is to make you scared and nervous because scared and nervous people are easy to control. So I want you guys to know the cold, hard truth. AI won't replace you. Someone using AI will. And so here's how I started using AI in my business, right? In this webinar that I created back in January, I used it to create the headline, right? I used it to create the, the content, there we go, on the slides. I used it to create the images. I used it to create all these different things, right? And this is a list of different AI tools. This entire presentation was created with AI. 
from here, the image here, this was created with Midjourney. The headline on Eventbrite, created with ChatGPT. The description, ChatGPT. The emails to get people to register, ChatGPT. You can use this for literally almost everything. Like, this stuff is good. How many of you guys have seen this? How, get my ChatGPT list of prompts, right? These little Facebook ads telling you everything. After this presentation, you'll never have to buy another one of these again. I'm gonna teach you how to prompt engineer so you can craft the best prompts for whatever you need to. And this time we're gonna speak on content specifically, right? So you can use this for anything. This works for literally everybody. Here's the framework, race, write that down. R-A-C-E, race. So step number one, what is the role? What role are you giving ChatGPT? And I like to teach this in levels. So level one is, you are now a social media marketer, right? When you're typing into ChatGPT, before you even put anything in and hit enter, tell it the role. You are a social media marketer, you're my COO, you're my business planner, you're my accountant, whatever it may be, right? Give it a role. Level two to this is think of your favorite person in that role. So let's say I'm doing something with marketing, I'll say you are now Dan Kennedy, you are now Russell Brunson, you are now Gary Vee. And instead of giving it a role, I give it a person to embody. And then level three, it gets a little ninja. Instead of telling it that it's a person, you put in whatever you wanted to put in, in the first place, and then say, if you were Gary Vee, what would you think? What suggestions and feedback would you give to this, uh, what I just generated? And then now you have pretty much access to one-on-one -on -one coaching from the people you look up to the most, and you only have to pay zero dollars. This is how good it can get. Step number two, what is the action? Right? What do you actually want ChatGPT to generate? In this case, you can use it to create a year's worth of content. So you'll tell it, all right, you are now Gary Vee, right? That's role. Now action, generate a year's worth of content ideas and list it out in a table format with the months and date on the left-hand side and the content ideas on the right-hand side. And you can keep rinse washing and repeating this until you get an entire year's worth of content. You only, only have to do is sit down for literally five minutes, right? Step number three, context, right? One of the ninja things I do is start a new conversation in ChatGPT. Tell ChatGPT, I want you to interview me and ask me a series of questions until you get a deep understanding of my business, right? And then I go one-on-one -on -one with ChatGPT. It'll ask me questions and I'll type in responses. And then what I do is, instead of doing that, Every single time that I start a new conversation with ChatGPT, I do it one time, I go into custom instructions on ChatGPT, and then I input it into there. So now every time I start a new chat, it's automatically saved, right? And that last step is expectations. What do you expect ChatGPT to do? So in the topic of social media and content creation, is it to get more leads? Is it to get more brand visibility? Is it to get more views? Is it to get more comments? What are you expecting from the stuff that ChatGPT is generating for you? All right, so let me repeat that again. Give it a role, give it an action, give it some context, and give it some expectations. And this literally works for life coaches. This works for insurance agents. This works for social media marketers. This works for public speakers. This works for really, really strong accountants. Like this works for literally everyone, right? And this is how I started using it. So on my YouTube channel, this is literally how I come up with my titles. It's how I come up with descriptions, and sometimes I use it to create the actual video script itself. For my podcast, I use it for my title, I use it for my podcast description, I use it to create blog posts from it, and this is how I'm using ChatGPT. And at this event, this is my 100th podcast episode celebration. We ended up getting a little over 50, 55 people to this event. I had ChatGPT plan the entire event from the landing page, from the registration emails, to the confirmation emails to remind people to show up, to the video scripts to get people to promote. This entire event was planned with ChatGPT itself. Now I know you're probably thinking, right? But John, I don't have a YouTube channel. Like, <laughs> you're not, how does this apply to me? I don't have a podcast. I'm not throwing in-person events. How is this actually going to help my business? Well, let me tell you about Bob the Builder. <laughs> when you learn a tool, right, it's not about having the tool, it's about knowing how to use it. If I give you a hammer, you're not going to be able to build a building, right? But if I give you this tool, ChatGPT, with this race format, you can use this for virtually anything. Whether it's video scripts, whether it's content ideas, whether it's event planning, whether you need help bookkeeping, whether you need some structure in your business, 
This could be everything you want it to be now that you understand how to use the tool, right? So remember, AI won't replace you, someone using AI will. Now, I want you guys to scan this QR code. Me and Brandon, we're hosting an AI workshop in person in Stanford, Connecticut. It's going to be free for everybody, and we're gonna teach you how to use public speaking to speak confidently in front of a camera, and then we're gonna use ChatGPT to follow up and teach you guys how to create amazing content ideas. Thank you guys so much.